Okay, so you know that we read and review a lot of books here on our channel, but recently we read The Other Side of Beauty by Leah Darrow, and we absolutely think this is one book that every teenage girl and woman needs to read. It's a fascinating conversion story. It's a look inside the world of fashion and beauty and a practical guide for living an authentic life. It is definitely on our do not miss list. Hi, I'm Jennifer here today with Kate. And if you're like me, you may have spent hours and hours trying to track down good books for your teenage girls or for your young adult daughters to help them learn how to navigate this crazy world that we live in in a healthy way. So we've read several books like this over the years, aiming to teach everything from manners to self-esteem, but definitely some of those books have been more helpful than others. But when we read The Other Side of Beauty by Leah Darrow, we kind of gave a sigh of relief because we definitely found what we think is the best of the best of the bunch. And we had heard bits and pieces of the author's story before in various talks that she's given, but this book just brought it all together in a very powerful way. As soon as I was done reading it, I immediately began to read it again, taking notes the whole time. So if you're not familiar with her story, Leah Darrow was a contestant on America's Next Top Model. She moved to New York City and started off an exciting career in modeling. At least it looked exciting from the outside. In reality, she was suffering from anxiety and depression, and she was living a life further from God than she had ever imagined. But all of that changed one day when she went on a modeling shoot. It was a sort of sketchy operation. She was modeling lingerie, but during the shoot, she had a life-changing moment. She saw the figure of a man standing in front of her, and he told her, I made you for more. So that completely changed her life. She walked off the shoot, she quit modeling, and gave her life back to Jesus. So that's a pretty amazing story just by itself. But in the book, Leah takes you with her for a deep look into the other side of beauty, what real beauty is and where it comes from, and how we're often tricked into thinking other things by the culture that we live in. So now let's take a closer look at the book itself. What sets it apart? Like we mentioned earlier, there are tons of these how to live a virtuous life books out there for women of all ages. So why do we think that this one is the best? Uh, we're so glad you asked. We have three reasons. Okay, the first one is this is a true story. This is Leah's life. It's a conversion story. She lived with anxiety and depression and fear of rejection for years. So she knows what she's talking about. This is not just a book of virtuous, holy living tips with different Bible verses thrown in. <laughs> She really understands the pain of not feeling beautiful enough or good enough or worthy enough to be loved. And she's very candid about her struggles and about what worked and what didn't. So the book is very honest and very real. Number two, we think that this book strikes exactly the right tone. Leah reads the audiobook herself. She's very candid. She's very upfront. The book is funny in parts. The book is also sad in parts, but you never feel like she's trying to talk down to you or trying to give you some type of holy pep talk. There's no my buddy Jesus or we're all girlfriends or let's be Proverbs 31 women. Um, I just, that type of writing and speaking, I, that can make me just want to roll my eyes, but Leah speaks very well and she writes very well. The book is also a great combination of ideas and experiences. Leah tells her own stories and combines those with scientific research and philosophy and scripture to really paint a good portrait of what authentic beauty is versus what it isn't. So we think all of that put together really makes this one the leader of the pack. So this book has so many interesting details in it. We definitely learned a lot about the world of fashion and beauty. So let's take a look next at what we learned. And the first one is about fashion. It's about fast fashion. We hear the term a lot, but never really understood exactly what it meant. But Leah explains it in this book. She talks about how there used to only be four fashion seasons in a year, but now every week is considered a new fashion season. So if we want to keep up, we have to be constantly buying which seems a lot like manipulation. <laughs> yeah, like that doesn't seem <laughs> right. tall order. Well, obviously we don't keep up, but there you have it. Okay, another thing that we learned is that 
companies target women with specific products, you know, like the pink razor or the, the pen that Bic made, the lady pen, just for women to write with. So we knew that that happened, but what I didn't fully realize was that these special products just for women come with a special price tag just for women. You can be paying up to 50% more for products that are targeted just for women. And that just makes me angry. And she also talks about how there are always more and more products being made to fix all of our problems, some of which we didn't even realize we had, but that these products will never actually completely fix the problem because if they did, then we would stop buying them and then the companies would lose money and everything would crash and burn. So it's kind of like a hamster wheel or just constantly running and buying and it, it never fixes anything. Yeah. So yeah, I don't want to be on the <laughs> hamster wheel. So. We definitely learned a lot, put things in perspective for us, but we also found several take home messages in the book that really touched us that we want to share with you today. So the first message is to realize that God already loves us. There is not an award we can win or an outfit we can wear or one thing about our look that we can change that will make God love us any more than he already does. We are already enough for God. That's such a great message. I also really loved her call for us to support one another. Life is not one big giant competition. Instead of being envious of others and feel like I'm always in competition with the other women in my life, why don't we just support each other? Why don't we realize that we all have a contributing part? We all contribute something and even if our part is small, it still matters. So we should be thinking more that I am a contributor. I am not a competitor. I love, love, love that message. And then she also reminds us that true beauty is not temporary. Our internal beauty, the beauty that matters, will never fade. It lasts forever. And she gives the example of Mother Teresa. Most of us think of her when she was older and wrinkled and stooped over from helping so many people. But everyone who ever met her described her as beautiful. And then ironically, she was also one of the most photographed women in the world. <laughs> Leah points out that our external beauty can't necessarily penetrate into our souls, but our internal beauty can definitely radiate out and affect other people. So now what are we going to do differently after reading this book? Well, the author actually has some challenges in the back to help you live a more beautiful and authentic life. And one of those is to try the seven item wardrobe challenge. And that means picking out seven items of clothing that you are going to wear only those seven for an entire month. So the purpose is to help you learn to be satisfied with less and to be grateful for what you have and maybe to get, get out of the clutches of fast fashion. <laughs> So we're interested in that challenge, absolutely, but it's a little difficult this time of year. The weather could be 80 or it could be 30. We had Hurricane Jessica, so it's a little hard to predict what the weather is going to be. Yeah, it's hard to get dressed every day. So we'll let you know if and when we do this. We are also going to be looking at all our makeup and reading the labels. Now we knew that not all makeup is created equally and definitely some makeup has chemicals in it that we don't want. So we've always been aware of that, but I didn't realize that lead in lipstick is still alive and well. And I don't know about you, but I do not want lead in my lipstick. So we are definitely going to be taking a closer look at our lipstick and maybe some of it will have to go away. And then we're also going to try to take up her challenge to go out and spread beauty. She has one quote about this that we really love, so we'll read it to you. There are people waiting for your light, the lonely, the forgotten, the suffering. They're all waiting for someone to show them beauty, to remind them of their dignity and worth. And you have the power to reflect this to the world. You have the power to bring the beauty of your life to another. There are so many different ways that you can spread beauty in the world. You could even just listen to someone who needs to talk or give someone a compliment. I mean, how many compliments have you received in the last week? I mean, let's be honest, right? <laughs> or you could send someone an encouraging text or an email. We often forget that it doesn't take much to have an impact in someone's life. So to sum it all up, Leah reminds us that our worth is separate from how we look and only God is the ultimate judge of what is true authentic beauty. Not your friends at school, not TikTok, not the bathroom scale. 
It's a message we can all benefit from hearing or hearing again, getting reminded of. So the other side of beauty, it is a powerful and beautiful book that we definitely recommend as a do not miss. Yeah, if you've already read it, we would love to know what did you think? What was your favorite part? Let us know in the comments. So we hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.